Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming episode 18 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And yeah, I yawn, Kirby. I'm tired too. I like literally just woke up a little while ago. And I haven't really talked until I actually just started recording. Basically what I've done this morning, I woke up, I like watched some videos, or rather I put on some videos in the background while I played Super Mario Galaxy. And then I just went to record this. Which was probably a bad idea, because I really don't like this level, but you gotta do it. You just gotta bite the bullet and deal with the spotlight level. And basically the whole gimmick of this level is that you get to carry around these light balls and that you're supposed to light your own way through. I have to do all the work around here now, don't I? Yeah, so it's pretty sucky because, like, I don't know. It's just like one of the two different kinds of levels that I hate in video games. The other one being water levels. Which, everyone seems to hate water levels, so I don't know. I know there's certain water levels anyways that I don't hate too much, like Noki Bay and such. But Noki Bay, I don't know, it's just it's different, almost. It's not the same typical kind of water level that you normally see in a game. Here's our first treasure, we got a ghost in a box. These toys can be pretty unpredictable, and scary! <laughs> Very scary indeed. Oh, come here, light eel. Give me a light eel. I don't know. These light eels are pretty cool. I don't know. I think it would be pretty awesome if there's actually a light eel in real life. Maybe there is. I don't know. Alright, so we're lighting up the stairway to heaven here. Just keep on getting higher and higher. But we got a little area off to the side here, it looks like. Probably not much in it. Just the patch and whatever's up here. Some beads. Always kind of useful, I guess. Not going to complain. Yup, so today is August 12th, I think. And I don't really have much to do today. It's pretty much just like every single other summer day, I guess. Not much to do. So much time, not much to do. I don't know. I've kind of been in the mood to play Zelda and stuff lately, I don't know. I think I've been just been in the mood to play Zelda all summer long. This pumpkin looks great as a quaint decorative item. Yeah, I guess. Until it molds in like two weeks and then it's just gross. Do you ever see that, like, how people have pumpkins outside the, outside their house after Halloween, like a month after Halloween? And it's all like gross and it's caved in. And they just refuse to take it in because it's so gross, so they just wait. They just keep putting it off. And it's like, well, I'll just get rid of that later. Right now it's too nasty. But the longer you put it off, the nastier it's gonna get, so I don't know. Just get rid of it before it starts to go moldy and cave in. That'll fix your issue. Whatever. Oh yeah, I'm not doing too bad at this level so far. I remember the first time I went through this level, I was just utterly bamboozled by it. I didn't know what the hell I was doing half the time here. Oh, I didn't even see you, Waddle Dee. I'm gonna go down here. As indicated by the down arrow, we must go down. I don't know why I'm still carrying this Waddle D around. I should probably just throw- Oh, it's- I, I, I was trying to avoid throwing it into that guy, and as such, I threw it into that guy. Headlong. That's just dandy. Oh well, he should resp- Yeah. I think you actually need this guy to unlock something here. So there's somewhere that I have to break through. That I have to bust through like a buster brother. Yeah, is it here? Um, well, I guess I didn't have to bust through there. It's just kind of a good idea. It's, in, it's all in good taste. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what to talk about today all of a sudden. I don't know. I just I just woke up. I haven't even had breakfast yet, believe it or not. Just kind of just kind of chill and playing some Kirby's Epic Yarn. I got gold. Awesome. Awesome possum. I think this is actually the last level in Treatland, so we'll be moving on to Waterworld soon enough. That's gonna be a joy. Provided that I get all the treasures and stuff in this level, of course. I think I've just missing one of them so far, and it's probably up ahead at some point. Right, oh, okay, there's an elevator here. I was kind of confused there. It's like, how do I go up if you don't have a staircase or something for me? I can't go up if you don't let the ladder down. 
This is really nice how these like beads light the path sometimes, but then you collect them and then you don't have a path lit for you. So it kind of sucks. It's kind of bittersweet. But as long as you keep pulling at these lanterns, you should be fine. I don't think that's the way I was supposed to get up here. I think you were supposed to like swing on a button or something. But I made it up, so I guess you can't complain. There's our dark manner music. This music is kind of cool. I, I always liked it, just the ambiance of it. It's pretty awesome. Alright, anything down here? Uh, just some beads. Just some orange little beads. Orange beads like orange soda. Orange crush. Yum, orange Fanta. <laughs> I don't know, I never... I never liked orange Fanta. I'm normally a fan of orange drinks, like orange flavored drinks, but for some reason, orange Fanta just, I just always hated it. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the word Fanta, it's just so weird or something. Anyways, oh, will I get the maximum bonus here, the maximum possible? Yes, I do. 500 bead bonus. 500 beads! That doesn't work as well as like 5,000 beads. Because then you try to do 500 beads. It's just so awkward. Like you have to clench your throat to do that or something. You have to compress your throat. Yeah, so that lo looks like that was the last level of this whole place. So we are done with Treat Land. Hallelujah to that. Holy crap. Okay, so I guess. Um, what time are we up to? We're only up to like 7 minutes here, so. Still got a good amount of time. Let's move on to Waterworld. <laughs> we went through the top passage to Waterworld. That's cool. How often do you go through the top? You take the high road, I'll take the low road. Or I'll take the high road, I mean. All right, Splash Beach. That looks kind of gloomy. Maybe it's a beach level at nighttime. That's cool. I love that. When there's like a beach level at nighttime or sunset even is even better. That's why I'm such a huge fan of Sarina Beach. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is just awesome. Even Kirby's, like, shaded with dusk. Alright. Okay, this level's, like, a tide level. Yeah, these levels are always kind of cool. With the, uh, ri ri with the rising and lowering of the tide. It always reminds me of that one uh, level in Super Mario World, the special level. That one's hard, I tell you. It's probably the second hardest in the whole special world is that level with the raising and lowering water. This level probably won't be as bad. Alright, there's something down here, so let's check it out. We got a maze around here. Ooh, beads. Lots of colorful beads. Well, actually, they're all the same, the same three colors. Oh, that was nice. Oh, where will this drop me off at? Will it drop me through a cloud like the last one did? That was fun. I love it when it... I love getting dropped out of a cloud, because the clouds always look so happy when they drop you. Wow, where the hell am I going? To Mars? What's going on? Jeez, where is this train taking me? Okay. Oh, it's a moon. Look at this. And behind the moon is a full moon. What? Uh, do I get... Oh, it's a sun! Oh my god! I forgot about that, that you... Oh, that's cool! They actually can uncover the sun and make this a daytime level. That's awesome. How often do you see that happen in a game? Not very often. What is this, Majora's Mask? Holy crap. Oh, and the music even changes and everything. Like, it used to be all gloomy music, all dusky flavor music. And now it's just... It's so... Upbeat and joyous. I don't know, I don't know if you would necessarily call that upbeat. It's more upbeat than some of the songs that you consider upbeat in, like, pop culture music. Got some turtles around here. These turtles are cool. They remind me of that turtle in Majora's Mask. The one with the giant palm tree on his back that takes you to Great Bay Temple. Oh, what do we got down here? A patch, that's cool. Very, very illustrious. Alright, no, I need to get back up to the top. Ah! Oh, there we go. Oh, not too shabby. We've got two cocky star fox. Got some nice umbrellas here. An umbrella underwater. <laughs> That's interesting. What, are you trying to protect yourself from the water? Trying to create an air bubble with your umbrella? That's not gonna work. 
especially when off the water's coming down from on top. How am I going to go about getting this? Because these guys are going to block my way. Can I, like, grab them? Oh, I can tear them apart like that. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> That's the stupidest goddamn movie. Oh. For those of you who don't know, I'm talking about The Room. If you've never heard of it, you should definitely... It's worth a check out. It's like... It's one of those movies that you have to see to believe how bad it is. It's just so ridiculously bad that it's worth a watch. And that's that's a rare thing you can say about a movie. It's so bad it's worth watching. We got a sun clock here. This sunny clock gives a warm glow. Ah. I don't need a warm glow right now. I need a cool breeze like a Chinook or something. Because it's we're still suffering from this heat wave, you know, trying to pull through. I know eventually, like this, it's Canada, so it heat the heat wave has to subside at some point. Because there are the, you know, we got the four seasons of Canada up in here. We've got con we're in construction season right now, and then next season is going to be almost winter, then winter, then still winter. Well, that was stupid. I tried to put my own elaborate twist on that joke, and it didn't work out so well. I don't think I need that umbrella to make this jump. Though maybe I do, okay. <laughs> Call me crazy. Oh, we got a nice castle in the background there. Sweet. How do I get up there? Do I have to go around the other side? Probably. I hope I do, otherwise I just screw myself out of that treasure. That would not be very good. Alright, so we got... Yeah, okay, it looks like we can get just get up here. That's pretty simple. Simple enough. And what we got? A moon clock, of course. The moon clock gives off a gentle light and goes dark once a... What, goes dark once a month? <laughs> so the clock, does it just, like, stop working and go completely black once a month? That's completely useless, then. Well, not completely useless, but... Ah. Just missed the high tide. Yeah, we got our sun clock. Sun dial, it's more like it. There's no such thing as a moon dial, though. Or is there? I don't even know. There might be a moon dial. I don't see how you would, how that would work, though, because the moonlight is not nearly as prominent as the sunlight. That's why it's dark at nighttime. Hell. <laughs> Alright, we got some Gordos in here. I always thought those were the funniest names for these guys, Gordos, because it just sounds like a normal person's name, almost. But they're these annoying little spiked balls. And they do look like a Gordo, at least. Maybe it's just because they're so round and oblong. Actually, round and oblong are two different things, aren't they? Let's just get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> I love how it just gets so loud there, just for a little moment, the music. It's just like... I don't know. It gets really loud, and then it gets really quiet, and then it gets loud again, and then quiet again. Perfect contrast of loudness. Is that all the patches? I think it is. Though I have been known to miscount those, so... Don't take my word for it. We got some secret island music. Is that... That's not what this place is called. This is called, like, Starshine Beach or something. No, that's actually a galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2, isn't it? And we're done. Sweet. Oh, what is this place called? It's, it's not Secret Island, I know that much. So what the... Where, where's Secret Island? I want to know. Now it's in, now you've intrigued me with the, wor with the use of the word secret. So I have to know. <laughs> there are many secrets in this game. Many of which drive me insane. Or drive some peeps insane. Found the whistle patch. Can I whistle? No, not really. A new stage? A new carry stage? Cool. Yeah, I get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a new hide and Zeke stage, too. Man, I want another Beatrix stage. A Beatrix stage. Oh my god. Oh. Figures the whistle blows and a school of fish comes along. Just to insinuate that a whistle has to relate to school in some way. 
Anyways, I think that's going to be the end of this video for now. The end of this video for now. That made a lot of sense. So next time, we will go ahead and probably take on some carry stuff and then blub blub ocean. Blub 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 ocean. This reminds me of like Underwater Kingdom in Ryoshima Coast in Okami. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.